We're gonna start with the rears today. Again, these are uh, these are solo works. These two top guys, pop those down. Those are our two bolts that came out of there. And then as you can see, this is pretty free. It's free up there. And then the next bolt you want to take off is the one down here. You want to take that bolt off. There's one on the other side, one over here, and then one over here. So one thing I've done earlier was put this jack underneath the uh, axle beam just to kind of jack it up because when you drop this, uh, the whole thing could potentially drop. As you can see, this is it. Slides in and out like this through the uh, to the other side. So if we pop that out, that's what that looks like. And then your strut, if you maneuver it, you can pull out. Let me just drop this a little bit. Guys, uh, to make it easier to take the spring out, we're just going to put this side out, take out the strut so we can put the axle down, and that should make it easier to take out the spring. Ox is getting the other strut side out. Guys, yeah, so we couldn't find the impact gun, so we're right us. Do it the old fashioned way. Yep. Alright, guys. <laughs> Alex just uh, popped the strut out, it just popped right out of there. Yeah. The spring just got detached, so he's just gonna use the drag. Pull the springs out while you're at it. Oh, did I have to pull the springs out? A little rib. Yeah, you should support that. We didn't really. So, <laughs> so this other side just popped right this off. The whole thing fell, and it's on bushings, so make sure not to let it down there too long. As you can see, they're, they're, this one ends up here, this one ends right here, so. Just the strut alone is lowered. Okay, yeah, so again, these are the solo works. They say the drop point is about 2.75 inches. Okay. One down. We got the springs out uh, and the struts on both sides now. You need a wrench for the for the. Top, top pushing out. You gotta stop the, this piece and then you gotta spin off this. And this is your dust boot and everything. Like I'm, trying, I'm gonna try and install those. Right, so now we're getting the new nuts on the top of the strut. Um, so you got this stupid piece of plastic, you got your dust cover and bump stop, and then you gotta put the OEM like strut. aluminum strut holder or whatever, and then that, that all goes together. You got a top nut, and then there's like a little bearing in the back. Was not, I did not see that on the OEM ones, but that's where that goes. And yeah, so now you're ready to put it back up. Okay, so we're not gonna do this the, the, perch. Coil, the coil now, the perch. So you want to take this piece out, out from the bottom, it just sits in here like that, and then this goes underneath to hold it up in there. That's on the perch. Kind of set up on the perch, and then this is where this use the OEM uh, holder basically and set that there. 
And that's about that's about where it's gonna go. And then that'll lift up, obviously. So we'll put the struts in next, and then we'll uh, show you when that's lifted up. Now I'm just gonna get the yeah. the spring just kind of stayed in there. Just gonna get the strut in now. Grab this long bolt and uh, get it to go down there. And then it goes to that side, and then uh, the nuts right over there. Yeah. Just put that on for now. And then tighten that down. And then basically it's the reverse process for both. Pop these two up, and then uh, you can throw your wheel back on and you're basically done. So take a little, I have a bottle jack. I don't know, I don't care what you use, you could use any jack. Um, put it on the, the beam, that rear axle beam, and you have to jack that up in order to line up the strut. Just line up the bolts, the eye, like the holes with the, where the bolts will screw in, and uh, just make sure that that's all centered. And we don't know what the torque specs are, so we're just gonna send it. Yeah, basically. I mean, these bolts are really strong, so don't worry about like trying to like, strip them out. You know, like, uh, they're like set to like lowest, right? So, yeah. so when we drop the car, uh, slammed right it'll be slammed. And we're just gonna lower to this side and see what the how it looks fully slammed. Slammed. Not, not really slammed, but you know what? Like, look at my back end. Now. Dude, actually, like it looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna go off like that. That's perfect. Yeah, it's like a guy that's actually really good at it because he's not really trying to slam this car. So yeah, that's how you do the back, and we'll we're that. waiting for the bushings, and then we'll do the fronts. All right, guys. So so far, all I've done is uh, number one, I pull off these uh, connectors, and there's it's also there's a little connector here. You just pop that off. That just makes things easier. So you got this little cone thing, which is over there. That little cone that thing sits in here. And there's a bolt, there's a nut that goes on top of that. Uh, it's a very difficult thing, so I'd recommend trying to get the tool for it. You can use a spark plug socket. We have a custom made socket, it works. And uh, all you have to do is pop an Allen key in the center, and then you need a, a, you need a socket on the outside to pull this off. It's pretty difficult but if you get the right tool it can be done it's a 22 millimeter and uh, ECS sells them it's a special tool for struts just look it up do your research and then uh, the next bolt I did is I loosened up the stretch bolt and that's behind here that goes see where well that's missing too um, that goes in the back here we'll show you on the other side uh, and then the next thing you're gonna have to pull is the sway bar linkage off and then uh, you'll be able to drop this down lower and pull your strut, work your strut out. We'll show you that next. Here's the stretch bolt, by the way, guys. That just goes back here behind the strut. So now we're taking off the stretch bolt, which, like I said, I'd show you. So it's this little bolt in the back. Just keep working it off. It's pretty pretty tight, so just I use uh, an open-ended and a socket or a breaker bar, and then I work it off with a socket. And uh, that's all after removing these. This little clip sits right here. That's just a, a T bolt or whatever. Pull that off. There's two clips. And remove this away from the strut and then just work off your bolt. We'll show you what's in the next. He's now uh, taking out the sway bar linkage. Yeah, Alex just got the so you just want to disconnect that. That's the top where it goes. bolt of the linkage. And then it drops it very, very far. So now our next move is to start trying to remove this, which is a pain in the butt. Because now we put the, the nut back in the cup thing just to hold up the axle or the strut. It's very cold, guys. It's like 35 degrees right now. It's probably gonna be dark outside once we get the coral version. So, this PB blaster, Alex is using right this there. For, right in there to just break so that it, apart. So it comes off nicer. And let that sit for a while. And meanwhile, you can either get a hammer and work your way back and forth here. Your goal is to basically just remove this. You gotta pull, push this down so that this becomes free. And uh, it's really tight in there. The ideal way to do it is to get a, a spreader back here there's like a little groove and then you want to spread that groove and then this will pop down 
So, but we don't have a stretch rider, so no, I don't. All right, guys. Sorry, it's hard to see right now, but we did get the. I'm gonna kill myself. This isn't even like. <laughs> we got the spring and the strut. Or the yeah, this, the stock spring and strut out. We'll get our flashlights in. Sun's pretty much down already. What? Because right, now we're really gonna set up the coil over. <laughs> And also, by the way, Alex got a new uh, new bushings too. That he's gonna be the new boots because the old ones wind up getting smushed, and then the new ones. It's just nice, you know, replace them every now and then after doing any strut replacement. When you guys are setting up the coil over. Usually the instructions will say what to put on what. So, just slip that in then. And we'll see how it goes. Yep. Okay. Yeah, as we got the, we got everything on the coilover. Stick it in there now and put some more TV blaster in. on there. So good, it's easier. So rip, because all right, we're gonna have to jack this up a lot. Yeah, I'm just gonna jack it up a little bit. Rush just uh, have to jack it and uh, hub up the axle. Your stretch bolt has to line up with the uh, this tab in the back. That's how you'll know where it's at. Now I just gotta find the stretch bolt. Want that little center? Yeah, this has to line up the little tab in the back. They slip right in, and you just gotta tighten your stretch bolt. And then basically it's a reverse process from there on, guys. So what you wanna do next is just center this up top there, as you can see. And, and uh, yeah, well, you, you'd have to lift this up. Yeah. And then you got your top nut. And you just have to tighten it from the top there. Alright guys, pretty much we're just uh, doing everything in reverse now. Doing the sway bar and link bolt. We just did the top one. I'll soon call it a quits for the coil over. Okay, so this side is in. Just tightening this up, the stretch bolt and the end link. And then we'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright guys, so uh, after the coil install, this is what it looks like. I've had it on for about a week now and they, they had time to settle. And uh, the backs are fully slammed and the fronts have like almost an inch left to go down. So, in my opinion, these are really good, uh, really good setup. And this is what it turns out. It made it, uh, got rid of all the, the body roll and uh, it flies around corners now. Yee! So pretty much guys, this is like the back fully dropped. Had time to settle a little bit. the fronts some tuck it some tire too it's slammed oh yeah which wait till I get some new wheels for it so guys if you're looking to get some solo work they're good for getting pretty low and uh, doing some good turning <laughs>